What's up, fitness fam? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today, we're going to go through arm day, how to sculpt your arms. I get this all the time. Claire, how do I work the back of my arms? How do I get rid of this bat wing crap? <laughs> so I wanna go over a couple of things real quick. First off, fat loss is diet, so remember that. But you can carve out the muscles underneath. So once you get accumulate enough muscle, it pops through the fat and then you get shape to your body. So that's what we're after. So I'm gonna take you through some great exercises, some of my absolute favorites. I used to have really bad bat wings. Um, I've got a before and after picture up here. So take a look at that, but I definitely had bat wings at one time in my life. So I learned how to eat right, uh, get enough protein in your diet. If you're over 40, make sure you've got hormone balance. That's really important. I've done other videos on that, so check those out too. Um, and also make sure that you're training them enough. Now, once, twice a week on arms is plenty. You don't want to do too much um, or overtrain them. So um, each set that we're going to do is 12 to 15 reps. You're going to do uh, four sets generally of each exercise, and I'll go through that as we go through the workouts at the gym. So without further ado, oh, one more thing. Um, the exercises I'm going to show you, don't be um, shy of them in the sense that just because I'm a pro athlete doesn't mean you can't do these exercises. Yes, you can. The only difference between you and me is the level of weight. Um, so how do you tell how much weight you need to, to lift? Um, let's say you're doing bicep curls. If you can get to rep number 12, 13, 14, and it's easy, you need to go up on weight. If you're struggling on rep four, five, six, you need to go down on weight. So that's kind of a guide on how you need to know um, on your weight. Now, you want to rest anywhere from 30 to 45 seconds. It really depends on you know what you're doing. Um, you can rest up to a minute. Generally, I, I rest up to a minute on bigger body part days like uh, glutes or legs. So having said all that, I just wanted to make sure that um, you knew that just, just be, you can do my workout. It doesn't matter. You can do it. Um, just uh, watch your weights. That's the only difference. So without further ado, let's go to the gym, y'all. <laughs> All right, warming up on the treadmill for a few minutes. You always want to get on an elliptical or a treadmill for just a few minutes, not going crazy with cardio, but just to get blood flow and warm up your body. So almost done here, and we're going to get into this arm workout. So here we go. First up, we're going to do twisting curls. Notice my wrists twist as, they, as my hands come up. So it starts thumbs down, then up, thumbs down, then up. This is a really good way to hit the biceps. Um, and again, you want to do four sets, 15 reps, 12 to 15 reps. So this is what it looks like from the side. Take about 30, 45 second rest in between your four sets. Next up, we're going to do hammer curls. So this is where your thumbs stay on top the whole time. And these are alternating, okay? Um, so these are also really good. Going to hit your biceps in a different way. Side view here. Again, really squeeze at the top on these. Next up, you're going to move to a free motion machine and put the arms up high. So this is really good for the peak of your bicep. If you're at home, you can use a band for this. Tie a band and do one arm at a time to something high. So this is the right arm and then the left arm. Really squeeze at the top um, on these. And your last rep needs to be really, really concentrated. Ugh. <laughs> and there's Hubby coming in to say hi. He's the best. <laughs> Now we're going to start some triceps. We're going to start off with dips. These are really, really good for the back of the arms. So these are my one of my faves for bat wings. Um, you can also do these with um, one foot up. So this is one step up from both feet on the floor, which is the beginner position. And then both feet up is more advanced. So this is what it looks like from the back. Your arms need to be a little bit closer to your sides. So again, four sets, 12 to 15 reps on these. And these, these are killer. So next up are tricep pushdowns. You can use a rope for this, or you can use a bar. Both are effective. So if you're at home, here's how you do it at home. Just hang a band up over a door. I've done great workouts on this in my shorts. Check those out too. They'll help you. So really squeeze at the bottom on these. Really feel that tricep working, and it should be burning on that last rep. Next up, we're going to go to overhead extensions. Super effective for under the arms. And here's how you do it at home with a with a, uh, a band, tie a band to something high like a bed post or something and go at a 45 degree angle. And again, really feel that squeeze as you come forward. You're really going to feel this underneath your arms, um, that bat wing area, right? So as I finish up here, yeah, that's where you're going to feel it. All right, guys, that concludes our arm day. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Um, those are some of the best exercises you can do for your biceps and your triceps. So let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next, what workouts you'd like to see. And um, my workout partner, Jackie and I, who's behind, behind the camera, by the way, say hi, Jackie. Hi. <laughs> she, if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have any YouTube videos. If, I'm telling you, she's amazing. Um, so let us know what you'd like to see next. And also don't forget to follow on TikTok and Instagram at Claire Morrow underscore IFBB Pro. Comment and also follow and subscribe here too. And once again, thank you for watching. Thank you.